welcome to the lab session on modern data optimization techniques in this video we will see the implementation of quick sort let us see briefly what is quick sort so quick sort is based on the divide and conquer strategy that means uh, the sorting means actually it is algorithm which is used to arrange the numbers either in ascending order or descending order so the basic idea in quick sort is you take the numbers in an array and you take one number as a pivot element and you will make sure that all the numbers which are less than the pivot element towards left hand side and uh, you make sure the numbers that are greater than the pivot elements towards right hand side so while making this you will divide the big array into two parts left part right part or uh, left sub array right sub array so again you take the left sub array and you take some other pivot element and again you make sure the elements present in the left hand side are less than the pivot element and uh, make sure the elements that are greater than the pivot elements are present in the right hand side by doing this over a period of iterations the all the numbers in the quick sort will be sorted so in simple the basic idea is you have to move the numbers which are less than the pivot element towards left hand side the numbers greater than the pivot element towards right hand side so let us see directly one example so you can see this element generally the pivot element you can take any number any number so in this example 4 is taken there is a first element in the array is taken as pivot element so for traversing from left hand side that means you have to traverse from left hand side to right hand side again you have to traverse from right side to left side so for traversing you have to take initialize two variables one is left variable this is right variable left variable is pointing to 3 right variable is pointing to 3 so what you will do means you make sure the comp uh, numbers compared with the pivot element pointed by the left to right variables so first you compare 3 with 4 so 3 is always less than 4 so it is in correct position so that means the correct position means it is in the left hand side similarly 6 is greater than 4 obviously it is it is already present in right hand side of the array so no problem in fact right hand side of the array means it should be present to the right of the pivot element that is the meaning so you can see this 6 when you compare uh, the 6 with the 4 6 is greater than 4 but it is present to the left okay left side of the array so now you stop this traversing process left side again you move you go to the from right side that means uh, the right variable if you take the 3 if you compare 3 with 4 3 is less than 4 again condition is violated so you stop here so what you will do means here both left indexing and right indexing the conditions are violated so what you do means you perform the swapping so once 3 is swapped with uh, sixth position 6 is swapped with the third position so when it is swapped means obviously the condition will be satisfied condition will be satisfied again you start the process of traversing from left hand side left hand right to right hand side again here right hand side to left hand side by doing this at the end you will find a appropriate position for number 4 ok so let us uh, directly move to the implementation so here we will implement with the help of recursive uh, uh, concept so you can see this function so this is used for exit condition and the first element is taken as a pivot element and the rest element is less than element and you can see here we are dividing the quick sort 
array into two parts and the logic is implemented here. So, what you do means you take the element and you try to execute it. So, it is already executed and you take the last element. So, whatever the elements or numbers you have to sort, you place it in the column vector. Okay? You place it in the column vector. You place it and run it. Now, you can see this 5, 4, 12, 13, 3, 8, 88 is sorted in ascending order 3, 4, 5, 8, 12, 13, 18. In this way, uh, you can implement the quick sort algorithm. Thank you, students.